Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from Olaf Road. Thank you very much for joining me today. In today's video, I will review one of the best, but I reckon most underrated fridges in Australia, which is the Bushman SC35252. I purchased uh, this fridge nine years ago and it has traveled with me on every single remote touring or touring trip. And um, recently when I required a second fridge for my camper trailer, I contacted Bushman and they were kind enough to provide me a second one for review purposes. As you know, I don't review items as soon as I get them, but I test them extensively. And obviously with a Bushman fridge, that is no problem whatsoever for me because I tested it for nine years. And I reckon that fridge has done some of the hardest traveling Australia has to offer. So let me start with the unboxing of a brand new fridge so you know what you get in the package. Yeah, that is the actual fridge with a standard lid. Mm, plenty of stuff in here. So, fridge looks exactly the same as the one I already have. One basket, two baskets, 220 volt cable and transformer okay seems to be the top and this seems to be the bottom oh that's interesting because to be honest the one i had with my other fridge with the other bushman i have that same fridge for nine years now so i know what to expect quality wise the cover was quite different i don't actually have it anymore so it's good i'm gonna put that on The Bushman fridge has two options, the original Bushman fridge SC35, which is a 35 liter fridge with a flat lid, and then you have the Bushman uh, SC35-52, which comes with a collar and an extended lid, and that is the one I'm reviewing here. So now, so now let's have a look what the extension pack does include. That's new, the tie down points, nice. My one only has the handles here. I don't have actually the tie down point, so that's good. One of the reasons I really like that fridge because it's extendable. At the moment, it's a 35 liter fridge, but with this pack here, you get an extra basket and an extension collar and an extension lid. So I could use just the extension collar uh, with this lid or I can use it um, how I will use it, with both extended, and that brings it up to 52 liters then. So removal is pretty easy. You open it, slide it out. Voila, and all of a sudden, I changed from 35 liters to 52 liters. So two baskets come with the fridge and then a third basket comes with the extension pack. So this was the unboxing. Let's now have a look at the fridge's specs and a bit more into the details of that fridge. The Bushman is extendable from 35 liters to 52 liters. It comes with two baskets and an additional third basket comes with the extension pack. The weight of the fridge is 22 kilograms and a little heavier with the extended collar and lid. The dimensions are 690 millimeter long, 385 millimeter wide. The height varies depending on the configuration between 380 to 545 millimeters. 
The average power consumption is 0.5 amps per hour, set at minus 4 degrees in 25 degrees ambient temperature. The low voltage power cutoff is at 10.4 volt. The compressor is a variable speed German designed C-Corp Danfross compressor, which uses between 2 and 4.5 amps. Price wise, the Bushman is below similar competitors like the National Luna or the Engelfridge. They are all smaller, not adjustable, and don't come with any extras like the insulated cover. I did a little power consumption test of the fridge in my camper trailer, so let's have a look. So nearly 24 hours, 7.6 amp hours. So 7.6 amp hours over 24 hours in a nearly empty fridge, so not much uh, thermal mass in there. And that is set at 3 degrees. I did a second test the day after with an empty fridge and the fridge set to minus 5, so to freezing. The ambient temperature wasn't uh, too hot, around 25 degrees. And I used in 24 hours 13.3 amp hours. So with a 100 amp hour life PO4 battery, I could run the fridge for around 6 days plus minus. Um, one thing to consider, this fridge is an old school fridge, so don't expect any of the modern features like an app or Bluetooth connectivity. That all does not exist. It is a basic fridge with all the functions you need and really nothing what you don't need. Um, the only changes I made for both of my fridges, I put an Anderson plug at the end because I think it's just far more secure than the cigarette lighter plug. And I also bought an external thermostat. One is wired uh, in my old fridge and in the new fridge I have a wireless one. Because the location of the built-in thermostat is not that ideal to really check the temperature quickly. The shortcoming of missing tie-down brackets Bushman already addressed. One other thing I would change are the latches on the fridge. They are fairly flimsy, but in saying that they have survived the past nine years. But I think a bit more substantial latches would be great. The way how I use the fridge in 99% of the time is as a freezer or as, actually as a combined freezer and fridge. It obviously only has one compartment, but if I have set it to minus eight and then uh, everything at the bottom remains fully frozen, the middle basket, I have a little insulation foam at the bottom and that seems to help a bit. So everything in that middle basket is just usually above freezing. And then in the top basket, I have everything which shouldn't be frozen, say my, my fresh vegetables or my yogurt and the likes. And between minus six, minus eight, that works perfect for me. On the super hot days in the Simpson Desert, I uh, have put it down to minus 12. So taking into account what the fridge has gone through with me, the price point, uh, the quality, I reckon it is probably the best value for money fridge on the market in Australia. And it is definitely a fridge I would recommend and would buy again in a heartbeat. Thanks a lot for sticking with me. I hope you got something out of this video and maybe you're in the market for a new fridge and that helps you to make the right choice. If you like my channel, if you like my videos, please subscribe, hit the like button. When you subscribe, also hit that notification bell so you get informed when I release new videos. My channel is self-funded and if you can, maybe even head over to Patreon, become one of my Patreon supporters. You receive early access to all of my videos. You can also ask me direct questions and with the equivalent of a cup of coffee or two per month, you really can help me making these videos. If you're already one of my Patreon supporters, Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. So, so long and I hope to see you along the tracks.